Hey, how's it going? Rusty Hazelden here, and welcome to The Art of NURBS Modeling, Volume 1. From curves to surfaces and everything in between, we'll dive deep into the Maya NURBS Modeling toolset and put them to use by modeling a highly detailed hurricane lantern. To get the most out of this video, make sure to download the project files linked in the description and give this tutorial a go. Now that we've drawn all the lantern curves, we're going to move on to the fun part, which is building the 3D surfaces. If you're just jumping in at this point in the tutorial, open the scene file called Chapter 4. Otherwise, let's continue with the scene where we left off in the last video. Let's start by creating the base of the Hurricane Lantern. Select the base curve. From the Surfaces menu, select Revolve with Options. Reset the settings. Change the number of segments to 64 and click Revolve. Rename the surface Base Surface. In the Layer Editor, right-click on the Layer Surfaces and select Add Selected Objects. Click the letter V to hide the surface's layer. If the surface was added to the layer, it should disappear. Click on the visibility checkbox again to make the surface's layer visible. Press the 6 key to switch to smooth shaded mode. To make the surface a bit easier to see, let's turn on wireframe on shaded. Let's create the burner surface next. Select the burner curve and from the surfaces menu, select revolve. This will reuse the same settings again so the resulting surface will also have 64 segments. Let's rename this surface Burner Surface. Add this surface to the Surfaces layer. The next surface is the Grill. Select the Grill curve and from the Surfaces menu, select Revolve. Rename the surface Grill Surface. Add the surface to the Surfaces layer. Let's create the globe surface. Select the globe curve. And let's use the revolve tool again. Rename the surface globe surface. Then add it to the surfaces layer. Select the retainer curve and revolve it. Rename the surface retainer surface. Add it to the surfaces layer. Select the dome curve and revolve it as well. From the surfaces menu, select revolve. Rename the surface dome surface. Then add it to the surfaces layer. Let's hide all the surfaces by clicking on the letter V on the surfaces display layer. Now we're going to create the vertical supports. Select the Vertical Profile Curve. And from the Modify menu, select Center Pivot. In the Channel box, type 90 in the Rotate Y field. Then enable Curve Snapping. Let's switch to the Move tool and use the middle mouse button to click and drag along the vertical curve. Release the button when the Vertical Profile Curve has been snapped to the end of the vertical curve. Now we can turn off curve snapping. Select the vertical profile curve, then shift select the vertical curve. From the surfaces menu, select extrude with options. Then reset the settings. Set the extrude style to tube. Result position to at path. Pivot to component. And orientation to profile normal. Then click extrude. If the surface is colored black, the surface normals need to be reversed. From the Surfaces menu, select Reverse Direction. Rename the surface Left Vertical Surface. Once again, we need a mirrored copy, so from the Edit menu, select Duplicate Special with Options. Reset the settings. Set Scale to minus 1 on the Z axis. Then click Duplicate Special. Rename the new surface Right Vertical Surface. 
select the left and right vertical surfaces and add them to the surfaces layer. Let's create the ring surface next. From the Create menu, select NURBS Primitives, Circle with Options. Reset the settings. Change the normal axis to Z. Change the radius to 0 0.15. Then click Create. In the channel box, type 32 in the Translate Y field. Type 1 in the Translate Z field. Rename this circle Wire Curve. Add the wire curve to the Curves layer. Then select the wire curve and shift select the ring curve. From the Surfaces menu, select Extrude. Rename the new surface Ring Surface. Add the ring surface to the Surfaces layer. Now let's select the wire curve, then shift select the handle curve. From the Surfaces menu, select Extrude. Rename the new surface Handle Surface. Add the handle surface to the surfaces layer. Next up is the fuel cap surface. Select the fuel cap curve. From the surfaces menu, select Revolve with options. Reset the settings. Set the segments to 32. Click Revolve. If the surface is black, we need to reverse the surface normals. From the Surfaces menu, select Reverse Direction. Rename the new surface Fuel Cap Surface. Let's switch to the top view. Then zoom in on the Fuel Cap Surface. We're going to reshape the surface by selecting and moving hulls. Hulls are the straight lines that connect CVs together. Press the 4 key to switch to wireframe mode. Right click on the fuel cap surface and from the marking menu select hull. Let's switch to the selection tool. Start at the bottom and select the first few hulls. Then switch to the lasso tool. Right click on the surface. From the marking menu, select Control Vertex. Hold down the Control key and use the Lasso tool to deselect every second row of CVs. Then switch to the Scale tool. Click on the Center Scale Manipulator and drag to the left. Scale the CVs until the edge has a wavy appearance. Press the F8 key twice to switch back to Object Mode. Then press the 6 key for the Smooth Shaded mode. Switch to the Select tool. And then change to the right view. We're going to duplicate the thread curve around the Y axis, and then use the Loft tool to create a threaded surface. Select the thread curve. From the Edit menu, select Duplicate Special with Options. Let's reset the settings. In the Translate Y field, type minus 0.04. In the Rotate Y field, type 45. Set the number of copies to 40. Then click Duplicate Special. Now, from the Surfaces menu, select Loft with Options. Reset the settings. And click Loft. If the surface is black, Go ahead and reverse the surface direction. Rename the new surface Thread Surface. From the Edit menu, select Delete All by Type History. And from the Modify menu, select Center Pivot. Then switch to the Move tool. Move the Fuel Cap surface down on the Y axis to cover the first thread of the thread surface. Select the fuel cap surface and the thread surface. 
From the Edit menu, select Group. Rename the group CAP. In the channel box, type 8 in the Translate X field. Type 4.5 in the Translate Y field. Then select the Scale X, Scale Y, and Scale Z fields and type in 0 0.8. Switch to the perspective view and press the A key to adjust the view. Let's select the thread surface. Then press the up cursor key to select the cap group. Add the cap group to the surfaces layer. Let's display the surfaces layer. Well, the surfaces are starting to look pretty good. Let's take a break at this point, and in the next video, we're going to come back and create the last few surfaces of the Hurricane Lantern. Well, let me know if you like this video. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the next tutorial. If you have any questions or suggestions, post them down below in the comments and I'll take a look. I'm Rusty Hazelden, and thanks for watching.